I'm here for the seaplane lesson. Are one of you fellas the flight teacher? Oh, not me. I'm old. But if you're looking for a father figure, look no further, young lady. Aw, no. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my wife. She's taking a flying lesson. She may or may not be wearing a skirt. Oh, my goodness. This is awkward. Uh, what? Wh why? Nothing. So, flying lesson, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, she's, uh, she's supposed to be back by now. Gosh, I, I just don't normally see the husband or the kids. Jeez, real life comes up and hits you in the face. Uh, okay, uh, huh. uh, maybe we should go check out the island, you know, just to be safe. Uh, sir, how do we get to the, um, uh... Quickie Kiss It Island? It's called Quipaquisit, and I have no idea. I guess the best way to get there is to crash a seaplane. Looks like Kurt's trying to land with his penis again. That guy can make a flag do anything he wants, but mostly flap around. Pretty good, kid. But can you, Gus? Whoa, it's beautiful. Why is it called Gus? It's named after me. My name is Gus. A lot of people think the Gus comes from the wrists. It doesn't. It comes from in here. Your flask? Yes, and the heart. Without heart, you're just waving a flag around at the end of a little stick. Hey, maybe you've got what it takes to be a junior Gus in training. I've waited my entire life to hear those exact words. Gene, you've been oddly enthusiastic about flag waving these last couple weeks. I thought you were just messing with me, but you were serious. Very serious. Then, well, there's something I want to ask you. Oh my god, you're dying. I'll take over for you. What? No, I'm not dying. For now. I'm not dying. <laughs> okay. I was going to ask you if you wanted to flap your first Grand Prix. <gasps> I would be honored. I'll wave your flag, Gus, but I'll never replace you. Right, I, I know. Just to clarify, it's only one race. We'll see. Checkered flag time. They're coming in. Gene, do the double. I'm not ready. Easy, easy. Deep breath. Let it flow from within you. I bet you can't wait to get up on that wall of honor. <sighs> I'm not going up on the wall. Sure you are. You're a junior lifeguard, ain't you? Not for much longer. I'm turning in my whistle in my can. What? I can't think of a reason anyone would want to leave the junior guards. The truth is, I only signed up to be around shirtless teen boys. Oh, yeah, maybe quit then. You might not be JGM. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but really, I think everyone's right. I should quit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it doesn't feel right to quit. Tina Belcher isn't a quitter. But maybe she should be. Quitting is liberating and could be the way to go. That's right, Mr. Old Man. Quitting's not the way to go. I might have joined junior guards for the wrong reasons, but I'm going to finish it for the right ones. Sure, later. Yeah, Tina, what do you need? I came in here to quit. Oh, okay, cool. But a wise old wrinkly man convinced me otherwise. Oh, Gus. I swear I didn't mean to. Also wrinkly? No. I've taken very good care of my skin. And the hair. Yes! Yes! Ah! Yes! She got it in! She got it in! Somebody won the mammoth! How come no one's excited but me? Hey, Gus, look who I found on the airfield. They're gonna help me with my revenge plan. That's nice. So, Kurt, who's the target, is it? Hey, what? No, it's a stunt pilot. All you need to know is she's pure evil. Her name is Laverne. Kurt and Laverne used to be part of a stunt flying team until she stole the dice and slice from Kurt and made him look ridiculous. Okay, easy, Gus. Sorry, I got excited. What do you mean it all came plopping down? He pooped the pit. Gus! You did? Uh, it's true. He's doing it! He's upside down! And he's not pooping! Probably. I think he likes you. Huh? That's Bruce. Bruce the Goose. You didn't seem to mind your long story about a dance that you told really loudly for some reason. Oh, sorry. Geese can be kind of clingy. They can form strong attachments to other birds and sometimes to people. Like me? Seems like it, huh? I tried to get him to attach to me, but it didn't take. Guess I wasn't sad and desperate enough. Aw, Bruce, you're a caring guy. Some people could learn a thing or two from you. You're talking about Jimmy Jr.? Yes, ugh, such a jerk. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I heard, I heard, such a jerk. I do wonder why she'd leave New York. Okay, let's do it. Really? Yay! Shamba wamba! Hi, kids. Oh, hi, Gus. They were just asking about Dolores. Yup, Dolores' lover died on Halloween night in room 313, 50 years ago. So she comes up here every year to conjure up Roger's spirit. Aww. A Roger conjure. And a bunch of us hang out in the lobby, take in the vibe, have a few drinks, and hope the ghost shows up. It's a haunted hoot! 
And, you know, Dolores would be an age-appropriate match for old Gus. Or was it you, Gus? Oh, why? Maybe you don't want Dolores to stop coming in here because maybe you have a little crush. What? Oh, I'm I'm blushing. But I didn't take anything. A knuckle hair that looks like shag carpet. And why is he wearing a pager? <gasps> That thing's a pager? Yeah, that's how pagers look back then. I had one when I owned this town. This was all my turf. I was untouchable. They called me Payday. I, I mean, when I was a, a bike messenger. Go back and work and try to make the best of what little we have? Well, that's a sad thing to hear a kid say at Christmas time. Hey, Gus. Don't worry about us. You enjoy yourself. Oh, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having craft beers and chicken satay and craft beers. It's okay. I'm not driving. I took my dinghy. I took my dinghy, too. Uh, let's get back to the booth. But let's take the long avoiding work way. Bye, Gus. Bye, kids. Oh, what do we have here? Another drink ticket. Merry Christmas to Gus. Gus, buddy. Children. Looks like someone's got a date with that salty lass, the sea. Oh, yep, going home to the ocean. Just kidding. I live in a house. Wait, we need to get out to that yacht over there. The one with Santa barfing off the side? That's the one. We need to, uh... Get barf medicine to him. We're doctors, damn good ones. Nope, nope, we're not. She's not, we are. Hey, I know what this is. You kids want to go on that Santa scooter and get the pick of the litter. What? Exactly. No. It's okay, I get it. I always kind of wanted to take down Santa. It's the ultimate heist. Hop in. Ugh. Don't try that, will you? Oh, wait, not that one. Oh, God. Oh, hey, let's go, let's go. How does this work, Gus? Do you just toss us into the yacht? Pirates use poles to attach ropes to the side. Where do you keep your pirate poles, Gus? There's a ladder. Uh, never mind, there's no ladder. Let's go back. No, I see it. That's a ladder. Aha! Come on! Oh, okay, I'll wait here and hold this thing that you said wasn't a ladder. Ugh, let's give back the gifts. Or you can give me your old friend Gus and see what he can get for them on eBay. Actually, the hardest part was getting signed out. Dean, buddy, we can't let you leave without an adult. An adult? Uh, hey, Silver Fox father, coming out of yoga, get over here. Uh, oh, okay.